Sakha Pali, Sanskrit satya word meaning real or true. In early Buddhist literature, Sakha is often found in the context of the Four Noble Truths, a crystallization of Buddhist wisdom. In addition, Sakha is one of the ten paramitas or most high a bodhisattva must develop in order to become a Buddha. The profoundest truth of reality In the Pali Canon, Sakka is frequently found in the term Ariya Sakka, meaning, noble truth, or truth of the noble ones. More specifically, the term Ariya Sakka refers to the Buddha's four noble truths, elucidated in his first discourse as follows, where Sakka is translated as reality. Now this, bhikkhus, is the truth about pain, birth is painful, aging is painful, illness is painful, death is painful, sorrow, lamentation, physical pain, unhappiness and distress are painful, union with what is disliked is painful, separation from what is liked is painful, not to get what one wants is painful, in brief, the five bundles of grasping fuel are painful. Now this, bhikkhus, is the truth about that which causes pain, it is this craving which leads to renewed existence, accompanied by delight and attachment, seeking delight now here now there, that is, craving for sense pleasures, craving for existence, craving for extermination of what is not liked. Now this, bhikkhus, is the truth about that which can put an end to pain. It is the remainderless fading away and cessation of that same craving, the giving up and relinquishing of it, freedom from it, non-reliance on it. Now this, bhikkhus, is the truth about that which is the way leading to the cessation of pain. It is this noble eight-factored path, that is to say, right view, right resolve, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, right mental unification. In the Pali literature, these four noble truths are often identified as the most common idea associated with the noble eightfold path's factor of right view or right understanding. And in the Buddhist causal notion of dependent origination, ignorance of these four noble truths is often identified as the starting point for the whole mass of suffering. Kevalasa Dukkakanda. Topic: <laughs> Truth as an ethical practice. In terms of the daily practice of Buddhist laity, a lay devotee daily recites the five precepts, which include. I undertake the precept to refrain from incorrect speech. Incorrect speech, at its most basic, reflects speaking truthfully. Regarding this, contemporary Theravada monk Bhikkhu Bodhi has written, It is said that in the course of his long training for enlightenment over many lives, a bodhisattva can break all the moral precepts except the pledge to speak the truth. The reason for this is very profound, and reveals that the commitment to truth has a significance transcending the domain of ethics and even mental purification, taking us to the domains of knowledge and being. Truthful speech provides, in the sphere of interpersonal communication, a parallel to wisdom in the sphere of private understanding. The two are respectively the outward and inward modalities of the same commitment to what is real. Wisdom consists in the realization of truth, and truth is not just a verbal proposition but the nature of things as they are. To realize truth our whole being has to be brought into accord with actuality, with things as they are, which requires that in communications with others we respect things as they are by speaking the truth. Truthful speech establishes a correspondence between our own inner being and the real nature of phenomena, allowing wisdom to rise up and fathom their real nature. Thus, much more than an ethical principle, devotion to truthful speech is a matter of taking our stand on reality rather than illusion, on the truth grasped by wisdom rather than the fantasies woven by desire. See also Two truths Wisdom in Buddhism Sila Noble Eightfold Path Four Noble Truths Topic Notes Topic Sources Bodhi, Bhikkhu, nineteen eighty four, nineteen ninety nine. The Noble Eightfold Path, The Way to the End of Suffering, The Wheel, No three hundred eight three hundred eleventh. Candy, Buddhist Publication Society.
Retrieved the 30th of April 2006 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash bodhi slash wado and dot html. Bullet, John T. 2005. The Five Precepts, Pansa Sila. Retrieved the 12th of November 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash ptf slash dhamma slash sila slash pancasila dot html. Harvey, Peter, trans. 2007. Dhammakakapavatana Sutta, The Discourse on the Setting in Motion of the Wheel a vision of the Basic Pattern, The Four Realities of the Noble Ones SN Retrieved 12 November 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash sn slash sn56 slash sn56.011. harv.html. Reese Davids, T. W. and William Stade, eds. 1921-25. The Poly Text Society's Poly English Dictionary. Chipstead, Poly Text Society. A general online search engine for the PED is available at http colon slash slash dsal.uchicago.edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash <laughs>